Hey guys, and welcome to the final episode of this session. Ah. Yeah, we're doing the next one. For realsies this time. The room is here. Hey, yeah, how's it going? I just <laughs> said for realsies. I mean, people heard me. Yeah, Real but soon. you could have been some Arumba impersonator, but it's not. It's the real deal. Yeah. It's impressive, isn't it? Yeah. I managed to get the real Arumba. Good work. Yep. How much did he cost? Quite a bit, I'm sure. Yeah. Packet of Doritos Oops. and some Mountain Dew. This was an extra steel. Someone had, did you do this? You must have done this. Possibly. Were we like low on steel and you wanted to duplicate for steel? Uh, probably. Yeah. That's yeah. It. That's yeah it says built by Steejo. I think we need to do a beacon steel setup rather. Yeah. Do you still drink Mountain Dew? Only on very rare occasions. Used to be addicted to the shit. Oh yeah. I was, was back in the four, day. <laughs> three four bottles a day. Now I'm not doing that. I've actually lost a lot of weight. Not that I was like particularly heavy, but it's the I sugar, like, man. It's the I weighed like two ten at my height, at my, my at my peak. I'm like six feet tall, so it's kind of kind of heavy, but not like crazy. Nothing. I, I, I don't I know really how feel. much that is. It's in uh, this thing called pounds. I don't know if you've heard of them. Oh yeah, but we use uh, stone, stone and pounds. So you use you use stone really? Yeah. You actually measure people's weight by based on how much stone they weigh. Well, stone what, is the What if two people have different bigger, size stones? Stone, stone is the bigger size of pounds. I don't so it's like you. it's like kilograms to grams. Yeah. But yeah, now I'm down to like 188. I lost like uh, 22 pounds, which is a lot. Oh, I went back to the base to get some uh, to get some steel, and yeah, there's no there's no steel as you've just been telling us. No, I I set it back up again. There's some steel coming in off the bus, not much. It's just one row. It's it's on the it's on the belt. Uh it's mixed. Yeah, How did you get mixed? It's mixed? What's mixed? Crap. What have you done? Uh the steel line is mixed now. That's not good. Yep. I can fix it. Almost caught it in time that there was no damage, but not quite. Almost. Ah, uh, the bloody 44 balancer's got hacked splitters on it. I've used a couple of hacked splitters. I'm trying to keep away from them though. There are a couple of them though. So don't, don't be upset. Okay. I'm glad you actually came back to the base looking for steel. I wouldn't have noticed that. Hey. That's still well, me, I guess. Clean. Huh. Okay. It's that steel line is clean. Time to head back to the base. <laughs> to get more steel. Stone, coal, oil, copper, and iron. All in the one helpful little location. Good. Okay, um, that's green circuits. That means we should be making productivity modules, which means I can get back to making, yeah, I got 19 productivity modules on me. Let's get in here and make sure this thing's going. Still need more. Come to think oh, of it, this, this 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 uh, recursive smelting setup barely even needs to go recursive. I mean, we did the math earlier, right? And it was like 15 items per second per furnace row. So that's four rows. 15 times four is 60 items per second. And if we have four belts carrying 40 items per second, we only need 160. So it's only going to go like three layers deep. Yeah, 2.66 layers deep to actually max out four blue belts. Nice. That's nice and tiny. Yeah.
That's cool though, I like that. I like having just the one requester warehouse. Yeah, I uh, I didn't really like this layout, but this is the one that I had to do. Are you nearby? Can you see it? Yeah, I'm standing upstairs. Yeah, that that actually works really well because it's it's three inserters times, you know, for each belt. Yeah, it works out perfect. It's just that it's kind of it's actually bigger than the previous setup, but it looks nice because it's just the one chest, like you said. Yeah, well the the thing is, you're not going to have one lane that's got a load of of iron in it. Yeah. I also like how the the warehouses are actually the exact same size as the factory buildings. Are we actually out of coal right now? I just don't think... Yeah, the, the wow. coal 2 or coal whatever stopped working a while ago. Oh, so we literally have no coal now. Eep. So we need more coal and more iron. I'll get on it. Well, I'm right beside a coal deposit, an iron deposit, a copper deposit. So, I'll just set up a load of different trains and stuff. We might need to actually increase... I doubt it. I was going to say we might need to actually increase the, uh, the number of Omni Depots we've got. I doubt it. I mean, they're very, very efficient. We've got tons of technology research yeah. that helps them be stupid fast. I would like some technology to make Farrell stupid fast. Alright, perfect. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna just run down to Iron 3. There's a, a power pole missing. Oh! These robots are good, but they seem to miss out on alien giblets quite a lot. Like, I've just been running running around uh, between the stations, and there's a lot of just giblets lying on the floor. No idea why, though. Hm. Just not picking them up. Big dummies. Right. There you go. Now the miners are all set up. And we can get Yarm and get that set up. So where's Iron 2? Oh, Iron 2 is there. Yeah, Iron 2 is uh, probably going to need sorting pretty soon. But well, Iron 4 is almost online. Mm, okay. We need 119 productivity modules for this. For the uh, the base? Jeez. We, we, we need a lot of modules. We need a lot of resources in general. Uh, right. Maybe iron for it. What is N624? Uh, it's, N just, it's just a random copper ore. Oh, I uh, resource monitored the stone next to the, uh, oh, the, the, the copper, copper next, next to that stone. stone, and I didn't rename it or set up a station. Okay. Sorry. Is that just stone one? I just called it stone uh, outpost or stone something. I, I was hoping that we could just have, I, I don't know. I think there's a system you can use where instead of having stone one, stone two, stone three, just call it stone or like stone outpost, and then the train will go to stone outpost. You don't have to change the schedule. It'll just automatically go there. Yeah. And uh, 
when the train, like when the, the depot or the location gets empty, you deconstruct the, the thing and then the train just keeps going to the other places. It just yeah. seems simpler to me. That's but. possible. That is doable if that's what you want to do. I mean, you can do how you, I mean, I, I was temporarily messing with trains. You were, you were born working with trains, so. <laughs> I was born with trains. That's input. Still got to figure out outputs. You know what? Where the fuck is Station South? Gone. Nope. Fuck off. Um. Station. Let's just call it. Okay, so that's going to take out, and then we got to somehow get this on both sides of the belt. Okay. But where's my station went? Odd one. Um, and this is iron four. Wow, stone's actually got a lot of productivity modules in it. Yeah, that was the one that I had first set up when I had a bunch on me at the time. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking stupid piece of fuck. Okay, I'll have to do. Well, I think that this works. Let's see. What should we call, um, what would the name of something be if it's like a, a bus logistics storage, like a, the, the pre-bus logistics storage? I'll call it something like that. Okay. Um... Pre-bus logistics storage. Storage, pre-bus, four belt. See that? What you just done there popped up my thing. Did it? Yep. Well, it seems to be intermittent then because that was weird. <laughs> it seems to be intermittent because I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get it at all. Unfortunately, uh, there's no space to actually build this damn thing. It's pretty large. Because in order to have enough inserters to load four blue belt and then also unload four blue belt, you actually need two storage warehouses to make it happen. Ooh. Because you gotta have six per belt, so 12 for two, but then you also need 12 on the output side, so it's 12 in, 12 out. I have four until... Okay, grab myself my deconstruction planner. With all this shit. This was coal. This was iron feeding in from nowhere now. Clean balancer's fine. Iron 2 still has half an hour left on it. Interesting. Why are you guys not powered? Oh, because this shit's not actually connected. Alright, there's now.
Mm, file's on its way. I can see it. A little slowpoke. Hmm. What's blip blooping? Oh, it's just the uh, the productivity modules that we need for this iron. <laughs> Did you do something with power there? Just for a second, yeah. Ah, right, okay. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Don't worry, forget about it. Yes, do. We got the stone outpost and relieve it of some of its productivity modules. Because some of the uh, some of the miners are finished. Now head back to base and hopefully there's some more productivity modules sitting in base for me. Oh, I doubt it. I've been requesting so. Oh. Coal. To you. And a lot more steel plate. We're oh, just never that far away. We're never gonna run out of things to do in this factory, is what I'm realizing. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my god, I think I finally have enough space for this thing. Yay, I do! <laughs> nice. Woo! About damn time. Oh, you bastard. I just got some productivity modules and the uh, the robots put it in one of the other. Why have you got a four to one splitter here that's also looping back on, in on itself? Because it makes it into a four to a three to two or four to two, I think, is usually why I do that. If you're doing a... If you're doing a three to two, depends. What do you? Where are you? I, I don't know. I'll put the stone. I don't. It's just. Yeah. It's, sorry. It's a three to two. It's a three to one. Because. But you're looping back around. If you actually want it to be three to one, that's how you do it. If you do it the way where you just take two splitters, it's not even. One side gets priority. Sure. It's not. I'm not making it up. It's a real thing. I'm currently just looking at the amount of stone that's coming through, like. Yep, that's, that's, that's needed. Probably not, <laughs> but I, I, I built it in a way that, like, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. if we have a bigger deposit, you can just take a copy of that and it'll still work. That's the whole idea. Sorry uh, you don't approve. I never approve. I know. Right? This should technically be stone too, but it's getting called stone one now. You, go to the depot. Or you could just call it stone. And then that way, the trains will work no matter what. Right. That's funny. Someone who was coming into this map would be able to tell exactly what one was done by you and what was done by me. Sure. Okay, so here's a question. At the front of the bus, do we want to shut down smelting under any circumstance based on how much we have? Or do well, we just want to we'll always smelt? Surely we'll want to shut down beacons. Like, the beacons just... will shut down based on whether or not there's enough stuff in the system. I'm talking about not accepting more more plate into the storage chests. Like, restrict these, these smart inserters. Or stack inserters. Oh, so that the passive providers only have a certain amount? Yes. That uh, probably would be a good idea. Because we don't want to we don't want to get to the point where the actual storage network itself has a ton of iron in it that's not getting used. Right. Of course, because these, uh, these passive providers are the only input for iron, so if they fill up, that'd be the max that we would end up with. Well, except the fact that if we get stuff in our inventory and then dump it, 
Right. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it you end up, up then, yeah. yeah, you end up accruing a fuck ton. And right now, there's no method of getting it into this passive provider. I'm just looking. Did I actually do these inserters right? That middle inserter on the top side is he actually unable to unload on the left? He should, right? They usually mm, have top left yeah, priority. Yeah, top left. Yeah. But he's not moving at all, and the other ones are. Strange. Probably because we're. Uh, it's because down here we're taking. There you go. Uh, do we need to do that? That yeah, I guess that that can work. Looks ugly as sin though. So do you? You hear me complaining? Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so that's two iron in, two iron out. That's gonna mess up here though, because the copper has underground belt coming by. Ooh, yeah. Shift this, shift this down by one. Oh, we don't really need. Yeah, I think that this still these needs guys anymore. Well, this this is just for iron. This yeah. two two storage system is just for iron. That's uh, spray back. Right big, yep. I agree. But uh it does work. There's just no iron now. There, there's <laughs> gonna some iron and uh I gotta go put these productivities in here. And now we gotta try to go deeper if I have enough. How many productivity threes do you have? Uh four. <laughs> That's not enough. Yep. CJ, we need more than that. I need the iron train back here, please. All right, if that's the case, then I need to update this blueprint. Train, um, come hither. Okay, now I need... What did I call it? Unload. There it is. Yeah. No, that's not the right one. It was, um... You need to go to Iron Fort. Alright, cool. I don't know. I think I really think priority splitting has uh, fallen out of my interest. Uh, all depends. Oh, I never did make my armor. Ah, uh, scrub. Oh, actually, here. I just made it now, but uh, I need to hopefully get enough little bits so that I can make better armor. The, the more fusion reactors. I just gave you 200. Well, thank you. But, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for. No. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Damn it! The robots stole it! Yeah, they did. I saw them. The Give bastards. it back, you little... <laughs> I gotta get... There. I gotta get this power armor on. Watch, it'll disappear like that factory building with all the... All the equipment. Oh, <laughs> look at that! Power armor Mark II adds inventory. I forgot about that. Inventory size bonus plus 30. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Massive inventory. <sighs> they stole all the crap! Crap. Crap. I'm trying to slowly remove all of the little storage chests. So we can get them just all in the big storage warehouses. How many fusion reactors? Like, what are you wearing? What's your grid look like right now? Uh, I'm two fusion reactors, five robo ports, three exoskeletons, four shields, and four batteries. You actually wearing shields? That's crazy talk. <laughs> I've been attacking biters. Oh shit, I just set a load of storage chests on fire. Nice work. Well, I hope we didn't need that shit. <laughs> Me too. I was only I was only like four, and most of them were empty because I was picking them up. Oh, 
All right, as soon as I get this done, I'm good to go if you are. But, uh... Yeah. Um, I'm thinking... Are there not any electric electric engine units added to the system? This is part of the issue with factory Simo, is that too much stuff gets buried inside buildings. Yeah. And we don't remember to set up, to have it come back out. Like where, you set up robot production again at one point, right? Yes. Where the hell does that happen? Uh, far end of the bus. All right, so in there, we should probably be able to find some darn electric engine units, I'm hoping. Yep, should be able to. They're just never brought back out. I don't know how much space these uh, these big factories, storage factories, have got left. I might need to make some more. Did you say that we actually have those um, in the system? Which ones? The great big storage warehouses. Yeah, all four of them. Okay, um, I changed my number then. I love personal robo-boards more so than armor. I'm a base dweller. He knew that though. Yeah. It's been that way for quite a while. This is where I live. I have 110 robots. <laughs> I have enough robo-boards to use 110 personal robots. That's right. That's, I need more. That's a lot. I need more. Hey, uh, hey, how, how about that advanced circuit production that you said was uh, full blue belt worth? Uh, half a blue belt. That's it? Yeah. Well, it's completely empty right now. Yeah, so we've got no iron. Oh, we've got no plastic. We have no coal. Ah, of course. The coal. The we're, about to, we're about to drop all steam power as well. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, there's just none in the system at all. We have completely ignored coal. Yep. Nice. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I'm currently trying to clean up logistics a bit though. So, if we have less than 5,000 iron plate, then the iron plate factory building turns on. And, uh... That's good. That'll save us a lot of power, turning those things off. I feel like this whole thing could function better if we didn't have this whole splitter doohickey thing here right now. What whole thing? But it is important. It is important to fill, fill green circuit production up with three and five. Although so, it's not really three and five. Yeah. It's just two. Two and <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> it's just two red belt. Oh well. Anyway, uh... Yeah, we're almost at half an hour again for this final episode. Damn. Okay, well I guess we gotta go wrap it up then, don't we? <laughs> Probably. I wish that they wouldn't flash the, don't, the no power sign if they're turned off via a power switch. Because it just, every time I see that I think, oh something's wrong. Yeah, but it's not because it's, it's... It's not. It should have a different symbol for when it's cut off intentionally versus yeah, when it just doesn't have a connection. Working as intended. Yep. Okay, uh, this one was you, I thought. Uh, yes, it was. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you soon.